Leaked information about the last Spartan standing mode looks very interesting. The Halo cookbook gets roasted by the community. Possibly Kansas City HCS might be making the same mistakes as last time. If you guys want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again giving you some more Halo news and information. If you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's know if you want to see some more content like this as it greatly helped out the video and channel get a better place within that all famous YouTube algorithm. But let's not waste any more time and get right into those details. So yes, there is a Halo cookbook that is now available for you to pre-order right now. It's like $40 hardcover and like $15 for the digital version of it. Um, but it kind of got roasted like pretty bad by the community. I think just because right now of a bad situation Halo's in. And some prominent members of the community went on Twitter and just directly replied to this, just hating on this whole thing. Pro players even replied to this saying like formal saying, let's go cookbooks. Obviously with a heavy handed sarcasm to it. Snake bite with cook the comp thing, cook the meal. Well, you see that awesome cheeseburger right there? Yeah, someone replied back with this meme and I'm just like, yeah, that looks about right. Of course, good friend of the channel, Duquesne 23 replied with this, and that's kind of how I feel about this cookbook. Like, I'm ready to go. Lucid Deep replied to this saying that they are seriously not kidding about this broader audience initiative, which always seems like Halo's needing to branch, branch out to a broader audience rather than actually just kind of being good at its own thing right here. Even FaZe snipe down the reply back saying April Fools was a bit late, guys. And uh, yeah, because it's the fifth. And uh, the main thing, I think the reason why people are so upset about this whole thing is because of just how the state of Halo Infinite is in right now, where obviously it's not in the best situation for, you know, just content creation and people are, you know, their sentiment towards the game as well. And people are just like legitimate mad that there's like a cookbook being advertised while Halo Infinite might not be in the best state. But I think Ackman here kind of does the best job of kind of putting it into perspective here, saying that it's like Halo Infinite is the last thing on their mind, which it definitely isn't, but it might give off that impression. So I was saying the marketing team for Halo is on crack 24 seven and the development team is all passed out on heroin apparently. And continuing on his point saying, I'm not saying that the development team made the cookbook. I'm saying we've got more information on miscellaneous products than the product I most care about. Make me happy with the game and I'll buy pretty much anything. And I think that's kind of where people are coming at with this cookbook that obviously like, yeah, the, the development team, this probably didn't help development team at all. This is actually like a production team that kind of puts together like video game cookbooks just for you know people to buy into. And obviously this doesn't affect the game development at all, but I think it's just more just people's frustrations with Halo right now and being sold a product that would be in promotion of Halo when Halo itself isn't really that great. It just kind of vented out more frustration for people. But will I buy the cookbook? I mean, I'm a bit of a foodie and I do like the cook and I'm, might just pick it up. So you can pre-order right now and it looks like that they will release in August. Now let's get to the news that I'm sure you're all here for. That is the information on Last Spartan Standing. Before it just kind of sounded like limited life free-for-all, which I was just kind of like snooze fest, don't really care. But like free-for-all's all right in Halo Infinite, but to make it to like a special new mode with limited lives didn't really sound that interesting. But this is a big but, it sounds like we have some interesting information now leaked by Delta Hub right here, which I've been known to release various credible leaks of Halo Infinite. And this looks rather credible, so I wanted to share it with you guys right here about Last Spartan Standing. See, here's like the thumbnail that they're using for like the in-game thumbnail. Looks pretty legit to me, and I, this looks like something that they would create at 343. But the next page right here is very interesting. It, even though it says Spartan Standing, I'm pretty sure it's like a scrolling kind of text, and that's what just the screenshot captured at the moment. But the interesting thing here said, every Spartan for themselves, level up your loadout by earning personal score to be the last Spartan standing. Because level up your loadout sounds kind of similar to like battle royale elements in a way, and based off a of personal score, not just kills. So maybe there might be some form of an objective added into this as well, to where you have to reach a certain score level to be able to improve your loadout, which definitely sounds, well, now, like a battle royale elements in a way it seems like with attrition maybe now this mode as well they're just trying to like soften up the community to the idea of like come on man battle royale is gonna come just make it cool i mean even the uber boy himself uber nick said btb with the face on it so could we get like a 24 player free-for-all with like upgraded loadouts and objectives and stuff like that and last person standing wins i mean that sounds pretty cool I would definitely be down to play that. 
uh, on stream as well, uh, one of my community members asked Mikwen, who was part of the pro team, so he's definitely played this mode before. And he even stated that this mode in particular will be great for streaming as well. So it has a bit of a crescendo, obviously being the last Spartan standing, has a bit of that crescendo, which is what they were trying to achieve with the mode attrition. And it looks like they might be trying to jump on top of that kind of feeling with this new mode as well, which sounds way more dynamic and interesting than attrition ever could be. Now we do have a blog coming out this month as well, detailing more things about season two, like we did with March. So I definitely will cover that on this channel as soon as that blog does go live, guys. I'm assuming that have been towards the later end of this month. So if you want to stay updated with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe to the channel here. And we also have a live team blog update going live, most likely this week, which will share information about customization, battle passes, and anything involving like microtransactions in the store, a whole lot of extra things going with the live service element of Halo Infinite, which of course we'll cover as soon as that goes live as well. But as this is a developing story, I'll keep you guys all up to date. And I remember at the top of this video, I said how it looks like HS might be making the same mistake as they did at Raleigh, which would greatly affect the viewing quality and actually make it just like really dreadful of an experience. And that is, it looks like the HDS competitions will be happening on PC, which have been where most of the crashing issues have been happening. Head of HDS Tashi says this on Twitter saying for the KC competitors, for the HCS Kansas City Major will be using PCs for pool play and championship bracket once again. The decision was made after a thorough investigation, update, and testing of the PCs that we used at Raleigh and will use at Kansas City. After Raleigh, the team was able to isolate the causes of the crashes we saw on site. These issues have since been addressed in the 1.1.1 update in February. That was the mid-February update that was incredibly underwhelming and have not appeared in the testing of these PCs prior to the Kansas City event. So, but the thing is like once that 1.1.1 update went live, that's when me as a PC player started experiencing way more crashes. Last stream, actually last night we did on a Twitch channel, um, I didn't experience any crashes, which was rare because usually at least one, one, I get one crash a session, which is incredibly frustrating, especially when I like to play ranked, it's my main mode. And if you crash out of a game, it's negative 15 CSR right away. But if I win a game, it's like maybe five CSR. So it's pretty tough out there when it comes to gaining and ranking up in the, in the rank style, style of Halo. And he also says, uh, while we feel confident going into Kansas City with our PCs for a pool play and championship bracket, we understand that there are always variables at play that may lead to issues. We have plans in place in case any Anything unexpected happens in order to avoid situations like Friday at Raleigh, which if you guys don't remember, the Friday situation at Raleigh was the very first like championship pool play game that we had crashes and it was delayed for like a whole hour of like being able to play Halo. And that's it seems like it's just a reoccurring thing that happens almost every single event. There's always something that goes wrong that delays the experience for at least an hour. And that's one thing that they really need to figure out what to do. They need to have a backup plan. I mean every type of performance out there, like every type of like musical traveling act has a backup set of rigs because in case something breaks that they can still perform. That's what HGS needs to do. And it looks like they might have done that finally for Kansas City, but we'll keep an eye on that. Talking about Kansas City though, I will be there at the event as well. So this is happening between April 29th through the May 1st dates. And so I will be there at Kansas City. I'll be on the ground floor reporting, grabbing some information for you guys. I might even make a blog at it. We'll see what happens with it. But I'm just excited to kind of get out there and experience these events because these events are way more than just like competitive Halo. This is a chance for Halo fans across the country and even across the world even sometimes uh, for a chance for all of us to get together and experience some awesome Halo greatness. And of course, when we get back, Season 2 is going to go live as well. So we might even get some information about Season 2. It's like some cool reveals or something like that happening, which would be very interesting. And even though I'll be away, you know I can't stop the details. Not even hackers can stop the details from this channel. But if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I'm going to link to all my Halo news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.